To see a piece of theatre in King's Cross really is quite fantastic because King's Cross almost feels like a completely different part of the world, you know? It felt like the whole suburb was an art gallery. Never seen anything like it. It's just a really inclusive place. It's like a welcoming family that you're walking into. A hub for friends to go in and enjoy. It's been absolutely amazing and such an eye-opening experience. Riding my bike around here was pretty fun. Once you're here, there are a lot of bike paths to get around. There was art everywhere. It felt like an outdoor art gallery. Like every second corner just burst out with this weird, crazy stuff. Like that boombox mural at the courts. Of, cool. It was pretty cool. I really liked the Aboriginal word wall where we got to like see all these different, you know, traditional words like gid, giddy. There were heaps of words written in Gadigal language. I learned that there's even different variations of the language across Gadigal country. So yeah, it was really fun. I really loved all the art in this suburb. There were so many cool things to look at. I found some really cool pieces of wall art and graffiti. So the sculpture by Ken Unsworth was awesome. But um, actually while checking it out, I heard this like cool little secret. The huge stones were like actually meant to be hung up on invisible wires. It turns out, you know, that's actually a bit of a safety issue. So, you know, they just have to slap it on some sticks. Still like it though. Today I caught the bus into King's Cross and as I was looking out the window there was just so much to see, there were so many sculptures and the view was just amazing. All the artworks and murals are hidden away and in the most random of places so some advice I would give is to go down back alleyways and places that you wouldn't expect art to be because chances are you will find some. The art hidden all over the place was awesome. I love the Lost Things mural. It looked like something from a Sean Tan book. I thought something like that would feel really out of place in a city. But somehow, here in King's Cross, everything, even the things that are a little bit different, fit in. There's so many things that you can do in King's Cross. National Art School was amazing. I went for a walk on the grounds, and it's got the most beautiful architecture. I mean, it's definitely worth having a wander around. There are so many restaurants and cafes. They're all really different and in the coolest location. Hands down, the best food. Harry's Cafe de Wills. They're famous for their pies and hot dogs, you know? And honestly, I'd eat seven of the bacon and egg rolls. My favourite was the Silly Talk Kitchen. It's a cafe just off the main strip and it has to be the most beautiful cafe I've ever seen. All of its walls are covered in art and the people there were really friendly. It felt like a place that you could go in at any time and just drop in to say hi. My favourite food I got was probably Messina. Actually, no, definitely Messina. Because, like, if you haven't been there, it's this delicious ice cream place. And they always have these crazy specials. I got, like, coffee. I don't think that's a special, but it's super, super good. I love pastry, so I also had to check out the Café de la Fontaine. The whole place looked amazing, like it was right out of France. And the food was so tasty. The man making the coffee also showed me some of his coffee art and it was so cool and it felt like everyone was happy that I was there. Something that surprised me about King's Cross was its history. I mean, there's so much of it there. There's heaps of museums and memorials. The Jewish Museum is a beautiful place and remembers the terrors of the Holocaust and the contribution the Jewish community has made to Australia as well. Oh, well, the thing that really stood out for me was the Pink Triangle Memorial because it really represented the struggles that LGBTQI people went through the Nazi Holocaust. And it's really such a powerful symbol as well. And I also feel like it's important because I know a lot of people in that community, you know, friends, family, even myself. So it really is quite amazing that that sort of thing is represented in this area as well, you know? I absolutely loved the El Alamein Fountain because it's just so big and beautiful, but it is also a memorial and it commemorates the people who fought and died at the two battles of El Alamein in Egypt. They were both crucial turning points in World War II. The most exciting thing I found was Tilly Devine's house because she was the queen of crime, the woman who ran Willamalu about a hundred years ago. Tilly was the top dog of the competing razor gangs in Sydney and was involved in street brawls and all sorts of illegal stuff. 
She was charged for over 200 crimes. It's crazy to think so much history sits there all hidden. It shows how much it's changed. A place I would definitely like to go revisit would be Len Kelly Place because it's such a cool little alleyway with tons of restaurants. They also have these amazing sculptures made from lights that look like they're hanging from the ceiling. And I'd like to go see the Gadigal mural again. It's over three stories high and reminds us that King's Cross sits on Gadigal country. You know what I liked? It's pretty hard to pick the favourite part of my trip, but I would have to say playing basketball. I, love, I just love playing and mucking around. I had played pretty well, I reckon. <laughs> um, I'd definitely play again though, because you can bring everyone to a call like that. There's always plenty of people hanging around, popping in to say hey. It's a fun place to just let go. We squeezed so much in, and it's all so close together. Like, I could just hop from one thing to the next. But I had to go and see the Coke sign. I mean, that is just so iconic. And honestly, it is huge. It's, like, really, really big. Travelling through King's Cross, you've, you found a lot of hidden gems along the way and things that you normally wouldn't go there to see. Like, you found them on accident. It's easy to find places like Berwick Claim Park. It's like a little backstreet oasis. Beautiful public gardens are all over this place. I walked into this incredible DVD store that really takes me back. You know, I actually found uh, Frankenstein today, which was pretty amazing, the old one. I'm really happy about that. I've never seen anything like it, and I'm so happy it's there to check out. There are so many awesome buildings in King's Cross with so many different shapes and from different time periods. And I loved especially the old Metro Theatre because the whole thing is art. It's so fun to look at. It was the theatre where they first performed the musical Hair in Australia. The first show where everyone got naked on stage. It was quite controversial. There were so many cool buildings in King's Cross. There was this one on Roslyn Street that stuck out in a really cool way. It was white and covered in tiles, and the top of it curled over, kind of like a wave. It's amazing what you notice when you look up. The Eternity Theatre was great to check out. It used to be the Burden Street Tabernacle, an old Baptist church, which is where the famous Arthur Stace found his inspiration to start writing Eternity in Chalk. End of the day, we came across this theatre called The Old Fits. It looks pretty cool from the outside. Heard they have amazing shows. Definitely come back and have a look at it later. I think there's a really big sort of community feeling in King's Cross. And when you go to the theatre, it doesn't feel like this big sort of fancy over the top thing where maybe you even feel a little bit out of place. It feels like a welcoming family that you're walking into and you're going to go see this amazing play. And obviously the theatres always feel like these like families that, these tight knit families that are letting you join. I love going to the theatre with my friends because it's so enjoyable to watch a play but with your friends it just makes it that much more special and more exciting and you can talk about it. I recommend for everyone to come to the cross either by yourself with your friends or family because there's so much to do. There's something for everyone in King's Cross.